So out here we have the camera control box setting on the bird feeder. I had to add uh, an external battery pack because the 9 volts just kept burning out on me too quick since I have it set up all day. I added the XP you know, I'm just going off like crazy and I added the XP here it's just piggybacked right onto the uh, motion sensor. So when the motion sensor pin goes low, it sends pin 20 low. And then that sends the signal to the other XP to send its pin low. It's pin 20 low. So now I have the other XP in here by my computer on the uh, propeller demo board. So if I, so if I had attach the LED to the digital pin on the XP it would be on until the motion sensor outside signaled and then it'd go off. So since I was going ahead and using this to power up the XP I decided to go ahead and write a program so that I could reverse that. So now it turns the LED on when the um, pin goes low on the motion sensor outside. So having it hooked up to the computer, I decided to send out information to the PC serial window. Um, first I decided to total up the hits so that I know how many times it's been hit, when it was being hit, and how many times it's been hit. And then I decided I wanted a timestamp on each hit. I thought it would be interesting to see when, when the uh, bird feeder was getting hit. The uh, propeller chip doesn't have a built-in time, hour, minute, day calendar function. And there's probably some way you could get through the computer through the serial connection, but since I had a uh, GPS module setting around anyway, I decided to just use it for the uh, timestamp since it has the uh, UTC time that it gets from the satellites. So I now have a window on the computer that will show me how many times the motion sensor has went off at the bird feeder and it will give me a time for each time it went off. I think next I will accumulate the totals per hour so I can see uh, at what time the bird feeder gets the most activity. On my XP base station, on the uh, propeller demo board, I am running this program. It uses the object's parallax serial terminal for sending the information to the computer screen and the GPS float light object for getting the time from the uh, GPS unit. All of this is just preliminary work for my squirrel destroyer, I mean uh, discourager. I thought about having something automatic with springs and switches or something, but I don't want to risk scaring the birds away. So I got this so I can see when it gets hit, and then I can visually verify if it's a bird or a squirrel, and then maybe push a button in here that will set something off out there. Or at least that's the plan.